11. Oh, that's lush. Um, absolutely lush. No, uh, I started YouTubing during lockdown. Yes, because I've still got the, the growth from isolation. Scotty, more shops advise cashless instead of cash. What do you think? Absolutely, Glenn. What I've been doing is, you know, maybe have 15 quid in your wallet in case your card gets declined if you're doing the weekly shop. And McClure does a, a £15 weekly shop and gets a few of the bargains. But, um, you know, maybe have £15 handy in case the card gets declined and they go, well, you can't have your shop. You know what I mean? That sort of idea. But everybody's backside is to the wall at the moment. Things are very, very tight for everyone. Does anybody think the shops are a little bit dearer these days? Do tell. Don't mention the name of the shop, but say if you feel your store, the prices have gone up a little bit for essentials. Yes, well worth the, well worth talking about on here, I say. That is important. These are all the things people want to talk about. I was watching a talk channel this week, and they were saying that this politician was coming on, and that politician was coming on, and I thought, is this really of any interest to the people? You know? <clears throat> you know, are we are we not would we not rather listen to ourselves? That's my belief, that's my thinking. Whether you think I'm bananas and, and it won't work, but I think if we work at it, the people's show is the winner. My haircuts have gone up two quid. Two quid, Alistair Cal. You said they went up. They've gone up. Come on now, Alistair. Don't let the side down. Or we'll have Gordon the Grammarian coming on and telling us what is what. Any more likes, please? A few likes would be helpful if we don't mind. How's your hay fever, Scotty, folks? Mine's acting up. Anybody got the hay fever? Well, I did a wee bit of grass cutting, Kareem. That solves a problem. Uh, so there we are. Scotty, have you heard of someone, and he gives me a name I can't pronounce. He was a German Nostradamus. Very interesting. Look him up. Jammer. I shall do. I shall look him up and see what is what. Liked. Paul A. Koss, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Anybody else's haircut? My haircut was a little dearer because of the beard because my wonderful hairdresser trimmed it rather beautifully. Rather a good job, I thought. What do we think, guys? Do we like it? So there we go. No, I don't have the hay fever, Kareem. I just have been using my voice too much. I do a lot of lecturing, you see, and, uh, and that uses up a lot of voice because I did start out doing two hours in the morning and two hours at night during lockdown, and I thought, I'm going to end up unable to speak by the end of the week. So, because it's too much. I think I talk too loud on here, to be honest. I should maybe have the headphones, and then I could hear what is what. So, there we are. German Nostradamus. Tell us more, Jamarama. Does everybody believe in things? I put two polls up this week. Uh, not tent polls or anything like that. Nor did I have two Polish people staying. But I put two polls up this week, and uh, there were Twitter polls. And one was, um, do you think that you would now vote yes to remain in the EU now that you've had a chance to sample Brexit? And 76% of the people said yes. So that means 76% of the people want to remain in the EU. So I think maybe they should look at that. I mean, would you really be upset if they threw the Brexiteers under a bus instead of throwing the UK under a bus? Metaphorically speaking, 
Of course. Very important. So do tell.